the Ohio State Buckeyes. Twelve. We, we got three left. I kind of, I kind of think twelve and zero. Uh, Eleven wins here is their over under to go over is minus one twenty to go under is minus one ten. I'd like to um, see them lose two or three games. I just don't see that happen. FBI projects them at eleven and two. I'd really like to see Oregon beat them. <laughs> they they went thirteen and one two years ago, lost in the playoff. They went seven and one last year, lost in the national championship game. Uh, it's a three quarterback race. You know, I, to replace Justin Fields, I feel good about C.J. Stroud. Um, it doesn't matter, but who, who knows? It. It no. matter. We trust Ron Day, right? Oh, one hundred percent. We trust Ron Day. Wide receiver room, who, best who, in the country. Who, yeah, whoever yeah, takes the snaps through. with this offense driving this machine that Ryan Day has put together doesn't matter. The doesn't matter. He's the he's the best play calling head coach I think in college football. I think so too. Now the problem last year, a lot of it was defense. I think defense was a bit. Now of course, now some of that's the machine issues. he drives. Hang on, I'd, I'd like to. As soon as I said that, if Lane Kiffin or a guy like Mike Leach or somebody got to drive that car, I think they would also be considered yes. the best play calling mind in college coach, football. Yeah. yeah. So agreed. Agreed. That, 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 so I, I want to correct myself there. There are other guys. Nobody has the the offensive mind that he has and the machine that he has. Yes. Kerry Coombs came in, took over the defense because Jeff Halfley, the defense coordinator in his first season, left to go be the Boston College head coach. That's right. Uh defense was eaten up in the title game. Uh, there was just not enough speed in but the back end. defense looked really good in the first playoff game against Clemson, though. Yeah, yeah. And that's against, you know. But also the defense was playing against a team that didn't have their offensive coordinator. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about so, that. Who called plays in <laughs> that game? Uh, a moron. Yeah. That's, that's Tony, it. Tony Elliott was uh, was not to be I, found. I did forget. I, I, I was actually trying to give him credit. No. That was well, not I'll, an I'll attempt at a shot. Last year, that it was. I forgot about They, they had a lot of guys that done. were. That were All not place. the most athletic in the back end of the front seven, like that. Their linebacking core just was not great. It was it was great True. in the Big Ten, and against this conference, yes, but not great once you get to that level. They have right? another premier edge rusher, or no? They're still. Lacking I think they names. got some guys, but I don't know who's going to stand out. Not a out. Chase Young or a Joey Bosa. Team. Not right now. Okay, not right now. But th- those guys didn't really pop up until sophomore junior season. True, and and we didn't know really going into them that. Uh, that that was what they were going to be. Uh, full off season, they I think this is good for the defense. Sure. They could not establish press man coverage on the outside last year, which was uh, the scheme that absolutely has to has to work for Kerry Coombs. That's that's what he runs. And if you don't have that speed, if you don't have those corners that can cover, because remember they had Sean Wade last year trying to play outside cover. And he got exposed. I mean, so it, bad. he's a slot corner. Like that's he, that's what he is. He really got exposed, and it really hurt his draft class. Which it, it did, but it, it should have hurt his draft stock, though. I if this number was eleven and a half, I would go under based on principle. Well, if it was eleven, I just need to see the price. Yeah. That's all. The price is going to determine all of that. Yeah, uh, the price is minus one twenty to go over the eleven. The price is minus one ten to go under. So the price doesn't matter to me. When they're that close, it doesn't matter. When they're matter. that close, it doesn't matter. And I don't see... I, I mean, they're, listen to their road Worst game. case scenario, it's a push or, or a win. They're, they're, they're not losing two games. I'd love to see them lose two. Yeah, they're, they're not... Two. Yeah, it's a push or a win. Uh, they, their road games are at Minnesota, at Rutgers, at Indiana, at Nebraska. And at, I don't see them losing At any. Michigan. Oh, did they play at Michigan? They're at Michigan. Not, not that I think that matters. So, let me... All right, so... Oh, you're right. This team is big. This team is good. We don't need to talk about that. Because that didn't bring any value to anybody. Everybody already knows that information. Who plays a tighter game, Oregon or Penn State? Both at the big house, same place. I think Penn State. You think Penn State hangs with them more than Oregon? Yes, You're I really do. worried about Oregon's secondary. I so you think terrified. Penn State's got a secondary that can stop this track meet? I think they've got a better secondary. Oh, I don't know. I think that defense got decimated too. They I mean, lost it- some horses as well. As a matter of fact, let's go on and move over to that. Uh, by the way, division odds to win just the division is minus 275. I was just about to, to say win, minus two what? To, Almost well, to win, minus 300. To win the conference is minus 140. Yeah. But I think that's to be expected. So, uh, we both got them going over 11. So, moving on we to James. We disagreed with a single thing yet. I think we, we both kind of knew that we were going to see this the same way. Yeah. I, I guess we just have the same biases for this conference. A little bit. A little bit. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.